Okay, um, hi guys, this review is going to be of Chai, which is um, a Retro Lush product. Um, I've only found a few of these um, reviews out there of this product, so hopefully this will help you. Uh, it's a spicy shower gel, spice up chilly days, warm up your body, real chai, <coughs> sorry, real china tea plus warming cinnamon leaf, even more warming ginger and allspice, which is warming too, plus a slice of lemon. Uh, it has in it... Um, Chai tea infusion, water, uh, it does have sodium raw sulfate, most of their stuff does. Um, fresh organic lemon juice, cinnamon leaf oil, allspice oil, ginger oil, orange blossom, absolute. Uh, yeah, that, that goes it for, oh yeah, and gardenia extract. Um, this is a very strange smell. I know most people say that, but it is a strange smell. Um, now I have glog here, so that you can see the colour. This is very similar watery kind of uh, texture to what Glog is. Glog was uh, the limited edition Christmas thing that was out. If you've tried this, hopefully you have. Um, it's very similar in texture and colour. It's slightly redder than Glog. Um, it has a similar smell, apart from the fact that Glog is sweeter and smells more like um, kind of a, a cola bottle kind of thing. But it, the reason I'm comparing it to Glog is the fact that it has this weird um, cinnamony, but yeah, not cinnamon smell. Um, <clears throat> I used it in my bath, and um, it does have a weird smell. Like the first instance when you smell it, you're like, ooh. But the more you smell it, the more addicting the smell actually is. Um, can you see now? I don't really want to dribble it over my keyboard, but it's sort of like um, a red colour. Uh, you can smell the cinnamon in it, definitely, and the allspice. Um, it's a really um, very spicy smell. Um, it doesn't really smell of tea, uh, at least you know, like tea as most people know it, which is like breakfast tea or um, you know, like. Um, Earl Grey or that kind of thing. Um, it does, however, smell like um, you know, like green tea um, or uh, those more kind of um, sort of, sort of a herby smell. This is really herby and spicy. Um, I like it because um, I like that kind of thing. Um, kind of reminds me of like a hippie smell. Um, very sort of green, like a green smell basically. It's not like a fresh wake you up kind of smell, um, but it's definitely kind of warming. Um, I do like it. I wouldn't use it every day because it's quite overpowering, but I do like it. Um, this I can, I can kind of see guys using as well. Um, I don't think it's really a very feminine, well, it's not really, um, how can I say this? Um, it's more of a unisex smell. Um, I don't see like predominantly women using this. I could see like guys using it as well. Um, I think it would work for both. Uh, I haven't tried it on my hair. I probably would use it on my hair. The smell's not awful. It kind of has chocolatey undertones as well. You know, like a sour kind of smell. Um, it's like quite a lot of all different things mixed in. Like it's kind of got a chocolate orangey sour dark chocolate kind of smell mixed with kind of like um, a herby tea smell and like a cinnamon rich warming kind of uh, scent to it. It's very strange but um, if you like sort of similar smells to what I like then I'd say go and buy maybe a small one which is what I did. Uh, this is just a hundred grams. These uh, are around four pounds I think. Four to three pounds depending on what one you buy. Um, but yeah, so that was my review of um, chai. Um, I put it in my bath. Uh, it did bubble up quite a bit, so that was good. Didn't colour my water very well though. So, but it's not meant to. Um, it's kind of like a shower gel, um, and I would use it on my hair. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, that was chai from Lutch Retro Range. You can get it online. And yeah, 